There's a rumor circulating that you're of noble birth. Oh, oh Clara, I told you not to pursue this. Pay that rumor no mind. I'm not noble, nor would I desire such. I need to be going. Be safe. Alright guys, well here we are back in the Emerald Graves. Uh, I went to... Uh, I went to uh, Hinterlands, didn't find great bears in the spot that they uh, they normally would be. Uh, so I guess they're not going to spawn in today. And I've read that uh, great bears are found somewhere in the Emerald Graves. Uh, I found a picture that said somewhere to the... Fuck, I don't know, maybe somewhere over here. Uh, but I don't know. But I, you know what? I feel like kind of going through the Emerald Graves anyway. Uh, Crestwood's not going to fix itself though, so I do need to go there soon. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing here. My goal right now is to find a great bear and rape that son of a bitch. So, BRB when I find something. Okay guys, so... I found this hard and high town chapter 9 thing. You know what? I have decided that I would read a Hardened Hightown chapter. Because uh, these could be interesting. Uh, Hardened Hightown is, uh, is Varric Tethras' uh, best series. So here we go. Donin Brenakovic was running out of leads to chase. He only had two weeks left until retirement. Oh, I bet. Just two weeks to find the man who'd murdered a magistrate and a Hightown nobleman. If Captain Hendelin didn't kick him from the ranks first, the dark stink of piss and rotting fish, as foul as the men and women who worked there. But that was where Donnan had to go find the raider captain, Belladonna, who had broken into the Comte de Favre's home. The dragon's jewels was a big boat. She liked big boats, and she could not lie. The pointy bits towered majestically over the water. That roundish wooden part seemed like it could crush armadas beneath its shit. I don't know. Wood! It was the greatest boat in the history of boats! But even from the dock, Donnie knew something was wrong. He ran up the gangplank to find a dead sailor on the deck and a blood trail leading down into the hold. Donnan drew his sword and followed. His eyes still hadn't adjusted to the dimness of the lower decks when he tripped over a second dead sailor. <gasps> Stabbed in the gut and left where he'd fallen. The body was still warm. The ship creaked with every swell on the waves. Donnan held his breath and crept deeper into the hold. <gasps> He barely deflected the blade in time. Steel rang against the steel. Donnan parried a second blow, still half blind in the low light. The third swing got past his guard and left a wicked slash in his forearm. Nobody attacks my crew, you flaming pile of dog shit, the attacker swore, and Donnan recognized his voice. Hold! Kirkwell's did it good! He shouted, barely bringing his blade up in time. You again! Donnan's eyes finally began to adjust, and he could make out Captain Belladonna. She was clutching her ribs with her right hand, a dagger in her left, and was covered in enough blood that Donnan was sure it wasn't all hers. She glowered at, she glowered at him. Could have used a guard not five minutes ago. Useless as ever, she grudgingly lowered her weapon. Donnan shouted his, or Donnan sheathed his sword. Who did this? Don't know. Didn't care to ask, she sniffed. Bassett killed two of my men before I cut off his hand and he bolted. She waved indifferently toward the rear of the hold. It's over there somewhere. Did he take the comp's shipment? Donnan asked. No. If that's what this was about, you can have it. She limped over to a trunk and removed a bundle of cloth tied with twine. She threw it at Donnan's feet. Good riddance. Well, what do you do about that? I need, I need to know the full story. Okay, all right. Let's see here. Let's go to the codex. Let's let's find this son of a bitch. Where would this be under? Tales. Empress of Fire. Hey, that's a song. Hey, Enchanter's a song. Oh wait, these are all songs. Yeah, I have some of these on my Spotify playlist. Sarah was never quite agreeable. Girl. Her tongue tails tails of a belly. You know, that's a that's a good one. 
Uh, where the fuck is Harden Hightown? I wonder. <gasps> chapter 6? Chapter 9? Chapter... Chapter 2? Why is this all out of order? What is this? And I'm not sh I don't have all the chapters, I bet. Man, scrolling this right stick sucks. Hey, let's read backwards. Chapter 6. <laughs> hey, you guys want to hear Harden Hightown? Uh, Emerald Graves Edition? The estates of Hightown fall into three types. The dwarven palaces in their enclave huddled around their counterfeit paragon statues for shelter against the onslaught of human ideas that surround them. The foreign quarter, where the wealthiest Orlesian and Antivan merchants stay during their twice yearly visits to criticize the ship captains and shop clerks and accountants and their employ and the noble mansions where families who can trace their lineage back to Orlesian conquerors and to vent their landlords perch to look down on the rabble of ordinary folk scurrying at their feet. But whoever they belong to, all of the Hightown estates have two things in common. A showy front entrance used when the occupants want to be seen and hidden back way when they don't. The servant's door to the Comte de Fau... I'm wondering if it's Favre. Comte de Fau... Like, like Brett Favre. Or is it Favre and people just say it wrong? I don't fucking know. De Favre. Mansion was in an alley hidden by overgrown top... Oh, Toppy. I thought the... Was... Toppyary. Top... Blah, blah, blah. Don and Bren... Br Donner Brenokovic. Pick the lock while his... Pick the lock? I never figured him for a rogue. Jevlin. Hey, Jevlin. It's like Jevon. Jevin. God damn it, Varric. Uh, kept an uneasy lookout. They had left their armor at the barracks, but even in civilian clothes, the recruit managed to look like he was wearing an older brother's hand-me-downs. Why an older brother? Why couldn't it be like a cousin, huh? Why, why does it gotta be a brother? Fucking familyist. I don't think this is what the captain meant when she said to get evidence, he muttered. The lock cli oh, okay. The lock clicked, and Donnan gently pushed it open. Only a few slivers of light slid through the shuttered windows. Silence hung in the air like a cheap tapestry. Donnan and Jevin, or Jevlin crept through the dark rooms, alert for any sign of servants, but nothing broke the eerie quiet except their footsteps. In fact, there was no sign that anyone had been in the house at all until they found the room whose door had been torn from its hinges. Inside, the comp lay in a pool of blood, one hand clutching a loaded crossbow, a dagger hilt protruding from his back. I'm gonna be honest, that chapter sucked compared to 9. Alright, how about chapter 1? Alright. They say coin never sleeps. But anyone who's walked the patrol of Hightown Market at midnight might disagree. The pockets and confidence men, men head to the taverns at dusk. The dwarven businessmen and nobles go back to their tiny palaces to fret over the ways they got cheated, and the market falls silent. Donin Brenikovic knew every angle of the market with his eyes closed. Twenty years of patrols had etched it into him so that he walked that beat even in his dreams. The recruit... Jevlin was another story. The ring of steel striking stone told Donnan that the kid had stumbled into a column again. His new armor would be full of dents by sunrise. Torches would make this easier. The sound of Jevlin's hauling himself into the blah, 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 was like Tinker's cart crashing. Torches make you night blind. You'll adjust. Donnan crossed the square to help the kid to his feet. A breeze scurried across the plaza, sending the banners and pennants shivering and carrying an old, familiar scent. Donnan stopped in his tracks. Something's wrong! His voice was low, warning. He peered into the dark, up at the mezzanine, just above them. Follow me. Be ready for trouble. The two guards climbed the dark stairs, and there, in a puddle of shadow, found the body. Gold-trimmed satin glittered through the blood. Get the captain, Don inside. We've got a dead magistrate. It looks like he magistered his last straight. <laughs> Hard in Hightown, Chapter 2 by Varric Tethris. Magistrate Dunwald's butler had the air of a man who had never risen before Don in his life. He stared down his nose at the Don in Brenikovic and his partner Jevlin. 
as if he were on some lofty balcony above him instead of standing in the parlor in his dressing gown. The magistrate is indisposed. This can only wait until a reasonable hour, he gestured for the guards to see themselves out. The magister is er, the magistrate is dead, Don corrected him. Wake the household. As their butler left, Javelin shifted uneasily in his new armor. Shouldn't the captain be here? You want to go back to the barracks? Be my guest, Don said with a shrug, only half listening as he studied the collection displayed in the room. A dozen ancient swords lay nestled in display cases, protected from dust and prying fingers. He moved to lift the lid of the nearest one. Jevlin started to protest, but then the doors opened. She had eyes the color of topaz and dark hair that fell across her brow like sword strokes. She strolled into the parlor with such dignified elegance that Donnan didn't realize for several minutes that she was clad in a housecoat and not a ball gown. You have news about my husband? What's Seamus done this time? Forget the pay his bill at the Rose? She seated herself and indicated the guards do the same. Donnan nodded at the recruit to speak up. Jevlin started. No, Lady Dunwald! Actually, she interrupted him with a wave. Mariel, please! Uh, Lady Mariel, your husband has been murdered, Donnan took over from the flustered recruit. When did you see him last? Mariel started at him. Her jewel-colored eyes wide, and her voice cracked on. Murdered! Seamus! But a heartbeat, maybe too passed, and she again became the perfect picture of noble grace. I saw him at the dinner, she answered in a tone anyone might use to comment on the weather. He left before dusk. He said he was going to play Wicked Grace with the Comte de Favre. Uh, do you know of anyone who might have wanted him dead? Javelin asked softly. People are... People want magistrates dead on principle, she gave a wry smile, but her voice grew pain. Criminals, political rivals, even people in his district who disagreed with him. She drifted off, lost in thought, and then turned to Don in eyes blazing. A week ago, a letter came. Vague threats. I thought it was nothing, but it upset Seamus. Who sent it? Dunnan asked. It wasn't signed, but the seal was six crossed swords. The plot thickens! Ooh! Well, I don't know if I have any other chapters. <laughs> Actually, you know, let's fucking look. Maybe this could be a Harden Hightown episode. Uh, let's see. I need to uh, look carefully through these, make sure I don't miss one, so I'll BRB if I uh, find one. Okay, here is Harden Hightown, Chapter 5 by Varric Tethris. Jevlin was waiting outside the captain's office when Don and Brenakovic slunk out defeated. We're not getting a warrant, are we? Er, well, we're not getting a warrant, are we? Jevlin looked almost relieved. No, Dunnan met his partner's eyes. The kid was barely 20 and looked like he'd walk straight to the Kirkwall barracks from somebody's potato farm. Taller and broader than the other guards, Jevlin slouched as if he didn't know how to fit into his own limbs, as if he thought he should be smaller. Hunched over in his brand new, too large armor, he looked like a child playing at being a guard. He was too green for a murder investigation. Maybe it's for the best, Jevlin said, almost speaking Dunnan's thoughts out loud. <sighs> You're on your way out of the guard, and I'm... He trailed off, then sighed. Questioning nobles in the middle of the night wasn't covered in training, I'm assuming that's said by Jevlin. Don and glared at the kid. I'm a city guard, and there are you, recruit. Nobody gets away with murder while we're on duty. Jevlin stood a little straighter. What do we do, then? The captain wants proof, Donnan smiled. We bring her proof. All right, guys, here we are by this river. This is a very important river because you got another uh, pointless side quest here. But anyway, here, look, a dead body. Ah. Investigate the fatal fall. Okay, well, I guess it would be that place. But anyway, what's so goddamn important about this river? Well, keep following it uh, this way, you know, sort of northish. And uh, you can find yourself a handy dandy, super fancy, and elegant, and unique 
a bottle of theaters just right over here and then you're gonna hear Sarah better take a closer look you're gonna hear Sarah say something behind the waterfall but there's actually nothing there except like a material that could be stuck behind the falls that would be clever yeah it would be clever too bad bioware blew it yeah you want some viridium oh no that's never right uh whoops yeah nothing there and this is some secret I don't know about why don't you go look, Sarah? Well, anyway, uh, that is that. And, uh, BRB when I get some more shit done. Why did I get 106 XP? Uh, I wonder if an NPC got glitched in the ground and died. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> hey, remember, that happened before. All right, so I guess that would be the, the second time, then, that's, a, that's ever happened. Otherwise, I don't know what else would have killed it. Oh, what the fuck is that? Who are you? Oh wait, what the fuck is this guy doing? What are you doing? Oh gosh! I don't know what I don't know where this guy's just hanging out. Holy shit. Well gee. What a fucking asshole. Oh cool, he didn't give me any XP. What a douchebag. Uh oh, I should probably get that unblackened. Uh Let's get the fate of fall. Yeah, I'll do that later. Let's see. Light a candle at the shrine. Well, I guess I'll go to the shrine and then I'll go to this camp. I think I have to go around a cliff anyway. Uh, looks like it. So, beer babe. All right, here we are at the lion's pa pavilion. We uh, travel a total of really fucking far to get here from where I said I would BRB. Let's place it. Oh boy! What a quest! <laughs> what a brilliant quest! It just blew me away. Anyway, you uh, you actually can come back here later for a quest that you uh, uh, well actually the uh, I believe you technically get the war operation. It's in that secret. It, well, it's not. It's in that house over here. Um, I don't remember how exactly, but I think I found like documents in there, and that gives a war table operation. Then you do the war table operation, and some like Templar douchebag here, uh, spawns in. So, yeah, just something to note. Oh, Brad! Spoilers! Spoilers! Oh, some notes. Oh, is this Fairbanks crap? Wait, no. This is an exclamation mark. Uh, a lover's promise. Elena, if you have found this and are still at the pavilion, leave immediately. As I passed, I saw a band of armed men close by. I fear they may attack innocent travelers. Meet me instead in the old grove in Gracefine, where the prophet's laurel grows. Your love day in. Okay. I wonder how that worked out for them. Gee, I wonder. Oh, I think I know what this is. <gasps> Let's see. It's over here on the left. Nope. Nope. That is not it. That is not it at all. I wonder which one it is. Huh. Because there's a very sp... Oh. And hey, that might be it. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I will see you guys uh, when I get to something. Alright, guys. Here we are at a uh, magical skull. Um, this is actually one of the, this is actually one of the skulls that I find that's really easy to miss if you aren't looking out on the horizon. Uh, this is one I've actually missed in the past because it's like I walked close enough, I walked just close enough but too far away from the skull to where like this part of the map wouldn't be gray at all, but to, but to where it didn't actually discover this. So it's like when I realized I had missing, uh, 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 crystals or whatever the fuck they are. Um, I had no idea where the fuck I would find it, so I ended up having to look up, like, a map to figure out what I missed. Um, but yeah, right here, right on the map, uh, that is where the skull is. Uh, I would say that's probably one of the hardest ones to find, unless you're, uh, well, you know, looking for it, I guess. So, let's find some, some things. Booyah! All right, well, I found that one. That was elusive as fuck. All right, guys, here we are at a stick. The best part of this game right here, placing sticks in the ground. And Traste's strength? Who gives a shit about her strength? Let's see, what is here? Is this, what, like, did I get a map for this? No. Oh, Scatter Robert's Ashes. 
What another uh, fulfilling quest. Uh, a widow's woe. My Robert died last week, victim to men who once wore the colors of our beloved Empress. His remains were burned, as our chantry bids, and his last wish was to have his ashes scattered on the plateau that overlooks the Great Wood. But uh, brigands and traitors have taken these woods, and I cannot fulfill his wish. This is as far as I go, but there are good hearts Good-hearted souls in this world, and I pray the Maker sends us one who may journey where I cannot, and Draste will look well upon one who hears a widow's plea. With broken heart, Widow, widow uh, Karen. You know, I really wish some of these quests could have some, like, alternate choices. You know, we're all, we are playing RPG and all. Uh, if I was role-playing as a, uh, I don't know, a fucking asshole or something, I probably wouldn't be bothered to do that. But I mean, I don't want to just ignore something, and I don't want quests just filling up my log. So why can't I do something crazy like just piss in the ashes and leave it there, and that's quest complete? Like, come on, man. And then maybe I could get a funny reaction from a companion. Maybe Sarah approves? I don't know. Uh, what the hell is this? No idea what the fuck this is. Oh, this is a shard, I bet. Uh, I don't remember shards being up here. How the fuck do I even get up here? Probably have to... Oh, you know what? I bet this is one where I have to go around. Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, I bet it's what I have to go around, isn't it? Blah, 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 blah. Well, it was pretty fucking stupid of me to go around that way because uh, the way up was kind of just like on the right to my fucking. What are you doing? Move! Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking person getting stuck. Yoink. Okay, but anyway. Uh, I did not intend on getting to Argon's Lodge uh, yet, but since I have. Well, I guess I could fuck all these people up. There's also a thingamabob inside here. I don't, it might be a... It might be a bottle of Thaders. I don't know. Hello, how are you? Ugh, oh, yeah. I need to remember to... Uh... Oh, fuck. I don't know, man. I'm really conflicted on it. It's really annoying to see uh... Cassandra, like, staying behind. And then she's, like, not next to Sarah, so I can't, like, barrier them both for... A l I gotta wait a couple of seconds or something. Uh, it's annoying that I have to do that, though. Cole, what are you doing running over there? That's probably not the best idea. But anyway, it's like... I really don't want to switch to her to use it. But... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Wow, she had, like... She was really low on stamina. and like, filled up instantly. That was crazy. Do I have something to, like, give her more stamina or something? I have no idea. Scribbled notes. Get your men out on the roads and hunt down those Inquisition bastards. We're losing the Emerald Graves. Have you forgotten what we're fighting for? Everything we do, we do for our future and for our lay. Fantastic. I hope I hope that bodes well for you. Oh gosh, look at these fucking shit cheeses. Where are you guys? What are you guys doing? Wow, they're really going after some... Oh, okay. Well, want let's switch to... Yeah, I want help with that. Gosh, I'm such a slave rider. Or whatever that line is that Isabella says in DA2. Alright, what is this? Oh, it's probably a black w or uh, a gray warden thing? Oh no, it's on the this. Yeah, of course this is a bottle, right? No, it is not! It's a nobility thing, okay. Read. Uh, the Perindale War. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that war. If it's not from my hometown, it's not important! Gosh. Okay, well, let's move into Argon's Lot. Argon's Lodge, yeah. Looks like these guys don't really, uh, see really well. Okay. Attack! Okay, so were they, like, fighting someone or something? Why did they, like, run over there like they were in a hurry and then just sit here? Okay. Oh, you wanna, you wanna fight me, huh? Oh, you wanna fight me? Here, fisticuffs. Fisticuffs! Here! It's my fucking beat stick, bitch! Come on. You want this? You want some of this? Yeah, I know you want some of this. Damn. Alright, guys, you want barrier? Barrier away! <clears throat> oh, so anyway, guys, uh. There's. A oh, yeah, okay, yeah, see you later, Cassandra. This guy doesn't want to die. Sure. Uh, did you just miss your dual stabs? Oh, hey, hello. What do you want? So, anyway, uh, the other, uh, The other day when I got off to eat, uh, chicken fries, uh, they were not as, uh. They were not as good as I, uh. Expected, which is really unfortunate. I mean, they were okay. I was just like a little disappointed. 
Uh, so that's gay.